So I wanna make sure we get this on video. Again, today we're calling the housing office to try to help my daughter to get her name on the list. You call, it rings busy, they hang it up. This is bullshit. You can't get no fucking help. And this is the shit I be telling you people. Oh, there's so much help. All you gotta do is call. They won't give her welfare. They won't give her food stamps. They won't help her with her rent. They won't answer the phone and it's only open for three days. Today is the second day. Tomorrow is the last day. You can't go in person because they say the offices are not open. So you people tell me what I'm supposed to do. And I got this poor kid texting me freaking out who's pregnant in less than a month going to give birth and got nowhere to go. The great state of Georgia, for all you people who claim there's so much help out here and I'm not doing enough. And I'm showing this, believe me, I'm showing this to the necessary people because I have had it with this state. All right, baby, I'll do that now. I'll call the other housing number and tell them that that number's not answering, but that's a completely different housing. This is section eight, that's housing, but I'll try. One moment, sweetheart, I'll keep you posted. I am so sorry, baby. I'm taking a video of this too, so you can see for yourself. I mean, this is day two of this now. Oh, this poor kid. You people think I don't do enough and I don't try to help myself and all I do is play victim and complain. Really? funny and I keep a log of everything I can't take this much more another automated thing i'm gonna leave a message for the, whatever people it's bringing me to because i'm not gonna just keep letting this be a thing i've had it this is the second day they're not answering the phones your call is being forwarded to a my tell voicemail system this is myrick is not available please leave a message at the tone when finished but you I may don't hang do up enough. or press pound for additional options Yes, hi, my name is Jill Corso. I'm calling in regards to my daughter who is uh, pregnant. She's less than one month away from giving birth. You said that the Section 8 uh, phone lines would be open for three days. I've got it on video. I called all day yesterday. It just rings busy. Then they pick up the phone and hang it up or it'll ring and then they pick it up and hang it up once you get through or you can't get through at all. You call, it rings busy, then it hangs up after one second and I've got this recorded all day yesterday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and it's gonna be the same way it looks today. It is 9.14 and I have a five minute video now of me calling and calling. It is unfair, my daughter works, she's pregnant, she was abandoned, she's got no family down anywhere she has me and that's it. I'm homeless myself. I'm not from Georgia. We've been here now. She's been here for three years trying to get help. Welfare tells her no, then we can't get through on the phone lines. I need somebody to call me back to figure out how can I get her name on the Section 8 wait list if they don't answer the phone ever. You know, we both work. We both don't make enough money to sustain a household. 
she's going to give birth in less than a month or a month and I don't know where her or a baby is supposed to go. And then if I can't get her the help she needs, you're going to take the baby from her. It, it makes no sense why this is going on. I need to speak to somebody because the next thing I'm going to do is go above this office and then I'm going to go down and, and we're going to take it a step further because this is not correct. We pay taxes in on these programs. We should be able to get the help when we need it as well. This is ridiculous that these phone lines have been open for two days and you can't get through, not once. Please give me a call back at your earliest convenience. I am sorry my attitude is not for you. It is not your fault, but this is ridiculous. 478 318 